My name is Thaxton Waters. I'm an artist and a curator, and I'm responding to Rashid Johnson's Untitled Anxious Audience. My initial response when I saw Rashid Johnson's Untitled Anxious Audience painting was the collective anxiety we're experiencing as a nation, collective anxiety we're experiencing as an international audience due to the materials that he's using, the uh, ceramic tile, the black soap, the wax. I think he's making more of a personal statement to the black community, because those are all materials that we're very familiar with. He usually positions and stacks things in his work. His close drawings with the, the wax and the beeswax and the black soap, you can see his spirit put directly onto the material and you can see the chaotic nature of his spirit and what the anxiety he was personally feeling as he was drawing the faces, as he was drawing the teeth, as he was drawing the eyes. Even though it's in a pattern form, you see a difference in each face. It also gives a reference to the subways, so seeing billboards and you seeing these graffiti in the immediate nature of street artists providing propaganda to a certain audience in their own language. The color scheme of black and white, it also denotes the polarizing nature of the anxious audience that are witnessing these events. We can also see the polarizing nature of the black and white on an in international level of immigration. The immigration discussion happening and how it polarizes the conversation. And then if you pull it down to a national level, you can see the national level on the presidential elections and how the presidential election, at the time of him making this painting in 2016, the nation was at a very polarized state. And if you bring it down to a very localized conversation you know, gentrification and how that comes into the communities and it divides conversations into black and white and where wealth is going to be transferred for the future. So you can see this on an international level, a national level, and a local level. But on a personal level, I think the space inside of the painting, it provides a good time to reflect on why the space is there. I immediately get references to yearbook pictures from my high school, from my middle school, and so from an audience perspective, I really think it's an opportunity for the audience to look at the members that are there, not there anymore and the reasons that they're not there anymore. I remember one of my personal friends, he died at gun violence because of his Jordan shoes. And I can think of all the layers to that and what he got caught up in in the early 90s. I think Rashid Johnson was making a mention of these same instances of police and gun violence that's been happening over the past three, five, ten years, 400 years, he can see himself in that position. How would he fare in that position himself? Because he looks, acts, feels, and could very well be one of those men himself. <laughs>